34% in the first two games. And the Trailblazers would like to get him off early. Barkley for three. Book it. Charles Barkley with his first three-pointer in the series. It was called. You didn't see it, but after that call was made, Barkley sprinted to the other end of the court to further point out what you're talking about. And there, Barkley nails that fadeaway shot. Phoenix out running. Person to throw ahead to Barkley. And Barkley is fouled by Robinson. If you are so committed to going to the offensive boards, which Portland clearly is, they're embarrassed by what happened to him. James Barkley with six to shoot. Rocks back and fires on Robinson. Good for three. Barkley with his second three already in this game. Outside shot. He feels it. Strickland. Cleared by A.C. Green. Two left to go in the first. It's a ten-point lead for the Suns. Barkley shoots in the silencer. The pass to Barkley, guarded by Thorpe. Now Barkley on the fadeaway. What a tough shot he hit over Thorpe. Eric, always good to see Luke. Here's Ainge with 10 to shoot. Barkley against Thorpe down in the low post. Barkley, he's really got everything working tonight. And we'll show you why you have to have some kind of double team. He's just too clever down there. See how he's made space on the shot by using the fade, keeping his left hand up. Marley against Kersey. Barkley against Thorpe. Oh, Barkley continuing. Scoring baskets. Portland's going to have to dig in at the defensive end. Here's Barkley again. Yep. He went right around Thorpe. Barkley with 19. Serve, gentlemen. <laughs> I mean, 19 points and five rebounds. See, this is not the facial expression that you saw in game one. Robinson over to double team. Eight to shoot. Barkley for three. Charles Barkley with his third three of the game. Turn it on when they want. Better be careful. Barkley at 24 in the first half. And again, it's Joe Klein who starts the scoring and front all the way. Charles Barkley over Buck Williams. Barkley averaging 27 points a game through the first two. Yeah, you can pretty much be assured at the end of the night there's going to be some fat numbers in that stat sheet. 17. Marley. Barkley for three. Oh, my. Oh, what a cold-blooded shot by Barkley. His fourth three of the game. Yeah, and he's got the big... Perry on the drive. Barkley fights for the ball underneath. Yep, and a foul. Charles Barkley never gave up on that one. Was able to control the ball, shoot it in, and draw the foul. I mean, you talk about effort. You know, I'm always talking about Barkley's second effort. Look, that ball's going out of bounds. Somehow he scratches, claws it. He doesn't have control of it ever. But strength and power let him get the ball up and in. Charles Barkley. This is just pure effort. You watching out there, this is how never to give up on a basketball when you're in a scramble and heavy traffic. Well, the theory for the Phoenix Suns, as far as not having any outstanding low post center, is that we have designed to shoot from the perimeter. Both Shays and Klein can do that. Porter turned away by Barkley. And a shot clock violation, I believe. J.D., remember I was talking about how sometimes Phoenix will turn the defense up right when you think they're giving you an opportunity to score easy baskets. Look at Charles, see? Now he'll try to, try to get his team back in it defensively. They're always in it offensively. Well, let's take a look. Porter way up. Did not look it. Looked like Terry caught the rim. Terry That's Porter exactly caught the rim. Pulled it down. It should be out of bounds to Phoenix to get closer than nine in this fourth quarter so far. 7.55 left. Barkley again working on Robinson. Barkley has 36. Barkley again against Robinson. Uh-huh. 38 for Barkley. 
Meaning the lead is 14. Timeout, Portland. Correction. Marley against Kersey. Barkley with two on the clock. Charles Barkley with 40. Serious. They're going to need him if they want to assault the championship. Three to shoot. Marley for three. With 4.41 left. Dan Marley connecting from long range. J.D., and there's some people on this team that may not be in the Rose Garden, so to speak, next year, Terry Porter. <laughs> oh, please. The Memorial Coliseum. So, in essence, and this building will not be torn down. It's going to be used for other events. As possession, they can burn some more here. Barkley against Robinson. Beats him baseline, and oh! Williams comes over. He still scores. Well, there's only one word for this, but it's an Italian word, and it means killer. Ammazza! Remember the early head shake we were discussing at the beginning of the game, J.D.? Sometimes as you watch these players over the years and the organization, they get a younger guy in there and a guy... Gordon is 48, and I would think that's the reason Barkley is still out there. He's got a chance at a playoff high. Now, Barkley never came down, didn't rush down to the other end to try to get another basket to add to his total, protected the basket at the other end. Then when the challenge came, Charles did not do anything to stop the clock. Only the made basket stopped the clock. Charles Barkley will sit down for the evening. A good night's work, young man. Three straight for the Phoenix Suns in this sweep against Portland, and... Eight straight on the season. They beat them all five times in the regular season. Coach, what happened at an old adage? The more you beat a team, the harder it is to beat them again. Robinson launches and hits the three at the buzzer. So the Portland Trailblazers in their final game here have uh, three straight field goals to close it out. But it's the Phoenix Suns who move on in the playoffs with this 117 to 109 victory. Paul Westfall's club taking out the Portland Ball Club three in a row.